Okie dokie, everybody. Welcome back. You're here at the Fox Den with Peter Voss, the Papa Fox. And we're going to continue playing Pillars of Eternity, the White March DLC. When we last left off, we had just broken into the Russet Wood, and we had uh, curled around the bottom here, got to this little area of the abandoned camp, spoke with the ghost, killed some zombie folk. Uh, folk who were, I guess, worshipping Barath, uh, curled around an ogre cave here and all the way up here. Uh, we uh, dealt with a rather nasty bear. <clears throat> and now we're about to uh, take a look at the shrine to Galway. So let's go ahead and see what this is about. Let's touch the altar. You feel a tingle run up your arm as you set your fingers to the altar. In the instance after, the wind seems to die down, the sounds of the wilderness growing muted to your hearing. Then you hear a sudden low growl, quickly joined by more. A vision strikes you like a sudden memory, though it is unbound by time or place. Within a sea of darkness, you see a great beast, formless save for its gleaming fangs. It growls and snaps with increasing desperation and savagery, and for a moment you feel its rage as your own, a possessive fury that tears at you. Something has been taken, your territory threatened, and the price for it will be blood. The vision fades just as swiftly as it came. The altar stands silent and still, and the air fills again with the occasional trill of birdsong. Sammy Shrine. Oh. Uh, no, nope, okay. Thought I heard my son. <coughs> okay, da 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 da. A trace of old candle wax lying the edge of the stone. <coughs> so, something has been taken. Okay, cool. Oh. I knew that Malkashoa was bad. If addendum, the hunter's favor. <coughs> Pardon for the coughing. I am still having a uh, bit of a uh, throat thing going on, so <coughs> apologies for that, but I do have to get these videos out. Indeed. I, I suppose I don't absolutely have to, but I feel compelled to do so, so there we go. Uh, bitter spirit. <clears throat> Have at thee. So I hope you all are uh, doing wonderful. Uh, yeah, uh, this has been this has been a week. Uh, I'm I'm definitely glad. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, me oh my! You should not be there, Aloth. Okay. Uh, attack here, uh, Aider. Where are you? Okay, let's get that defense going. Oh boy. What? Swift strikes, please. <clears throat> oh man, come on, dude. I, I don't want what? you anywhere near. Get, get, get out, get out. There. Oh man, this was just terrible. Come on. Deal, deal with this. Come on. Get, get. Ah, uh, very frustrating. Sure. Hi. <coughs> now we're gonna have to rest again because little, uh, little Aloth got, uh, damaged. Okay. Indeed. Let's go ahead and pick whatever this is. A tin hat. And some more stuff. Okay, Bertwin Ban. Oh, me, oh my, oh me, oh my. What a lot of uh, funny things go by. Okay, let's go ahead and rest. Let's see what happens in the morning. Nothing. Okay, actually, what? let's go ahead and see if we can talk with Durance. Had questions? If doubts and curiosity, <coughs> you're skinning your knuckles on the wrong door. Uh, concern. There were twelve of them. It fell. Uh, as if the staff was other questions? In the vision I saw your staff, you looked indistinct, blurred. Durance face, uh, Durance frowns, glances at you with a sharp look. Perhaps your eyes were blinded by the Godhammer's light, Watcher. He snorts. I may feel half a man at times, but even that is twice that of most others. If you fear for my spirit, your fears are baseless. The Godhammer, seeing its light, only fueled my anger and made me stronger. Made me re-examine the teachings of Margrin. 
put them in a new light. Hmm. Want to ask about something different? The cost of troubling me seems to worry you little. Uh, tell me about Magrin. Uh, huh. Other questions. I suspect the answers will seed more questions. A region in its history. No. Huh. I just no board. Oh yes. Okay. Here we go. Tell me more about Ashfall. What are the etchings on on the staff? Tales, reminders, something to think upon, devotions I can wrap my mind around. When chanting words becomes tiresome, chants lose their strength, but carving symbols into the wood with one's finger, blessed by fire. Durance takes his finger, and you watch it trace one of the paths along the wood, and the symbol glows slightly, red embers from a fire. As he draws his hand away, it glows, and he stares at it. It still glows, and he stares at it, letting it reflect in his eyes. I find symbols are a greater source of devotion than words, texts. If there were many texts to be had, texts remind me of a deer, the perfume of aristocracy. Aloth yawns. If only he tried to be of the spoken word so... Uh, if only he tired of the spoken word so quickly. Durance does not appear to notice. The War of Black Trees and this staff I carry are the only hymns and devotions I need. And it's a symbol. One that the faithful and faithless alike understand. Ashfall's stockpile of guns, explosives, Chemical fire sounds dangerous. <clears throat> Life is dangerous. You would know more than most. <laughs> Flame is always hungry, and if you don't respect it, it kisses. The, uh, its kisses will fire your loins like the defiance bake. Ha <laughs> ha There we go. There is a vulgar Durance. Durance closes his eyes for a moment, as if thinking back. Some members were consumed, some destroyed, but Ashfall remains. Would be good to see it one day, if I return, he shrugs. I doubt I shall. Why is that? Durant's eyes open and he glares at you. Because home is a mess of disappointment. Appointments, that's why. Never make a place your home, Watcher. That's my advice to you. Keep to the road. A home is a curse. It'll kill you, if you, uh, kill you to stay. And the moment your foot exits its door, it'll never again measure up to the cathedral in your head. Durance grunts, his hand tightening on his staff. You notice Ader's been listening. He speaks under his breath. Don't know if uh, the problem is so much a cathedral in his head as bats in his bell tower. Sure am sad, though, when I missed the parties, uh, party they must have thrown as soon as he'd left. Now that's a disappointment. Is that why you wander? I didn't expect you to understand, Watcher. You don't seem to value whatever home you are from either, and you're likely a stronger person for it. So, if you ask the why of it, Watcher, the why that one doesn't need a cathedral to uphold the faith or remind one of it. I don't hate it. I don't despise it. I'm not one... I'm not some weeping cast-out fool. I wander because, my faith, uh, because of my faith and to spread it, he grunts. And, I'm, uh, and I have many tens of years to go before Durance's trials let me go. And I'll never get there while I'm bantering words with you. But then who's more the fool? The fool who asks? Or the one who answers? I'm tired of your wordplay. Let's do something. Uh, can you tell me what the symbols on your staff mean? Keep troubling me and I may extend the tithe bowl for each question. Enough questions for now. Let the road keep us until the next campfire. Okay. Sure. Hi. Oh, come on. I suppose that's good enough. Uh, nothing more up there. Looks like we're gonna have to explore this little campsite. Uh, Woodcutter's Grove. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, a little more tin cap. Or tin hat. There's a deer. Oh dear. Bye, dear. Okay. Oh, and what's this? Uh, some more mushrooms. Bertwin Ban. Let's go ahead and clear out this uh, this portion. We'll clear out, clear out this portion next. Oh, a young ice beetle. 
an ice beetle. Lots of beetles. Holy, okay, wow. That's a lot of beetles. Uh, what? Oh, looks like we charmed somebody. That's quite interesting. Huh. Wonder who did that. Huh. Weird. <clears throat> but I suppose it's better than not having it, uh, having it against us. Anyway, so how are you all doing? I'm doing absolutely, uh, well, I'm doing better now than the weekend. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm still a little under the weather, but, uh, oh man. I'm looking forward to sleeping. I'm going to call this an early night tonight. And, uh, let's see if I can get some well earned rest. Uh, smack the beetle, punch the beetle. Okay. And this should be it. Almost near death. There we go. Death is death is come for this beetle. Okie dokie. Uh, carapaces. Good, good. Okay. Some more river reed. Alright. Let's get back into fighting formation. And take out this and this and an ice blight. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Okay. Uh, let's get your defense up, Aider. <clears throat> You're going to need it. And... Okay. Swift strikes going. Uh, let's go ahead and drop an arcane assault right here, please. Yeah. Right. Blam. Okay. Uh, force of anguish. <coughs> there we go. Let's go ahead and drop another arcane assault right here. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and just really lay into these guys. All right. Let's have endurance come over here and pop an AOE heal. Right. Swift strikes with uh, Peter. Wonderful. Oh, nope, nope. Okay, Durance. Let's just go ahead and have you focus on this and this one. Uh, and Aloth as well. Okay, let's get the second wind on Zahua. Great. And let's go ahead and punch some of these guys. There we go. And let's uh, get this one to pause as well. Good. <clears throat> uh, okay, so either we use a spell to heal him. Actually, let's go ahead and do a food trio. That should work. Okay. Right. Okay, we're just gonna have you uh, off to the side here. That, that should work out quite well. All right. Smack, smack. Uh, yeah, I just want to have Zahua over here because I don't want to use up some spells this yet. And I'd, I'd rather. Uh, not use any supplies either with him getting knocked out. So let's have everybody gang up. Come on, deal, deal, deal. Smack this blight. Those little blighters. Okay. Ah, what do we got here? Primal water and primal wind. Okay, what is that? There I shall. we go. I will walk unseen. Uh, we're gonna go just a little bit sneakery, because who knows, we might find some secrets. And that'd be very good. Alrighty, I think what we're going to do is we're gonna cut up north here. That seems... Oh, wait, no, let's go ahead and get that tin hat. There we go. 
<coughs> Wonderful. Oh, oh Raid Saren Mercenary. Oh, what's this? What's this? A question mark. This carcass steams in the snowy chill. Its kill is re recent. What's Don't see here? many on these roads, and the few we do are hunters, woodcutters, or smugglers. She cocks an eyebrow at you and gives you a half smile. She holds herself with confident grace, but conspicu uh, a conspicuous holster slung over one hip. Beyond her is a wagon loaded with supplies. Manacles dangle from one end. Uh, which are you, hunter, woodcutter, or smuggler? The high, clear peals of her laughter ring across the snowy plain. I suppose you could say I'm a hunter. Her fingers drum on the tooled leather of her holster. I'm looking for a fugitive from Raid Saras, an indentured servant, and a wanted criminal. The smile disappears from her face like a candle flame snuffed out by the wind. She watches you through humorless eyes. Uh, what exactly is he wander, uh, wanted for? Besides breaking his indenture, he slew his master's 13-year-old son. Killed the boy before he fled. Uh... Huh. If he did do that, then he would... I'm not sure I really believe her. Uh... Uh... Oh, let's see. Um... I can't blame him for seeking his freedom. I'm with Aleph. Zadwa nods at you with an approving half-smile. I figured that might be the case. Trouble is, I can't let you warn him. But don't worry. I got other uses for you. Okay, cool. Let's get ready to rumble. Plenty of merchant captains are paying good coin for galley slaves. Come along nicely and, uh, maybe I won't tell them you were aiding a known child killer. Defala and her compatriots rush at you. Okay, what do we got? A marksman, Defala, tracker, mercenary, mercenary. Alright. Pater. Whoa! Marksman, mercenary, with... Oh, okay, it doesn't look like we have really uh, much in the way of... Uh, Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Looks like they don't have much in the way of, uh, of, uh, magical folk, so that's good. Let's pop these. And let's actually just go with another one. Okay, swift strikes on Peter. There we go. I shot Let's go ahead and concentrate on this guy. Alright. Good, good, good. We're gonna have to put some armor on Zahua though. Um, that's not gonna be good. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and stun her. There we go. Wonderful. Get this one. Come on, 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 come on. Any moment now, there we go. Yes, yes. Now we can get this guy before he uh, got Suzakwa. Who's at one point? There we go. Wonderful. Overstaying his welcome. Now we have to track him down. Following your lead. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, a fine saber. Wonderful. This, that's quite a haul. Let's go get this. And looks like we got some uh, armor. And Zahua, what do you got? A fine pistol and some fine padded armor. Good, 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 good. This is exactly what we want. Oh. Okay. Hi. What's this? As you walk towards the frozen pond, a figure appears through the mist kneeling down next to a hole in the ice. The figure picks up a large chest and throws it into the water without hesitation. The figure looks around. You glimpse a face you've seen before. Quextel, one of Lafta's acolytes, pulls a hood over his head and throws a leather bag over his shoulder. Without looking back, he walks away to the direction of the Salward village. 
Huh. Okay. Step lightly. Uh, let's see if there's any secrets around here. <coughs> let's actually check to see how much time I have left on the timer. Yeah, we can explore just a little bit longer. Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Good. Good. So, oh, what's this? Crag ogre. A group of elves stand in a scattered ring around an ogre, but they do not appear to be engaged in battle. The ogre is bound with rope, and one of the elves tugs harshly on the line tied around the ogre's neck. This is uh, this is pointless, beast. You won't get anywhere being stubborn. The ogre <coughs> only snorts angrily and pulls back on the rope. Two other elves prod him somewhat timidly with their poleaxes. The ogre does not budge. Hey, Vamril. One of the elves is turned to look at you, motioning at the man occupied with the ogre. The elves turn to look at you, hands falling to their weapons. Vamril gives a final sharp yank on the rope before he turns as well. You're a long way from home. Oh, we'll be further from, uh, from it still tomorrow, just picking up some help along the way. He looks up at the ogre. <clears throat> what are you doing to that ogre? This creature will accompany us to the wasteland. We've had some trouble on the roads, but having an ogre along should put an end to it. I purchased him from some slave hunters not far from here, looking to recoup their expenses, I expect. Ugh. Not sure he's worth quite so much coin. Uh, we're going to punch him. That's, that's the only right thing to do in this instance. Punch him. My at 11, you aim a solid punch in the elf's face, but the blow only sends her stumbling, uh, stumbling a few steps backward. We're under attack! She draws her blade and the other elves turn toward you. As they heft their weapons, the bound ogre takes advantage of the commotion, hauls backward, tearing the rope free of his captor's hands. With a triumphant roar, the ogre pulls apart the bindings on his arms. Stop that ogre, but don't damage my property and bring me that fool's head. Okay. Alrighty, this is going to be interesting. Oh okay, this will this will be yeah, this will be interesting to see if we can actually uh, Oh boy. Uh yeah, let's go ahead and get that there stuff on you. Let's hunt! Oh boy. Oh, well, there goes the ogre. Oh well. Oh and yeah, okay. Interesting. Okay, you three. Who's most close to death? You. Some of you. Uh, get a group heal off, please. Thank you. Good, good. Zahwa, so, uh, get your second wind in you. Swift strikes, please, if you will. And there we go. <coughs> Huh. Now we should be able to get this guy, or not guy, or girl, whoever, whomever. We shall get this elf dispatched with all haste. There we go. Now we can go deal with this one. Well, unfortunately we weren't able to save the ogre, and it was likely we were going to uh, get attacked either way. Ah, but we did get bitter cut. Ooh, that looks interesting. There we go. And we got some more stuff. Cool. Indeed. Cool, cool, cool. And what's this? You spy a tuft of fur caught on the shrub. You recognize the scent of wolf. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're actually going to call that an end of the episode. If you've enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like or give me some feedback on the episode. Of course, if you enjoy my other work, then a subscription to the channel would also be most amazing. As always, it's great to see you all here at the Fox Den. I hope to come back next time and pull up a chair for some more Pillars of Eternity, the White March DLC. Alrighty, you all take care now. Bye.